Will the US government support Ripple in court? Will the SEC be able to resist Ripple's argument? How much will the XRP court field cost? We will answer these questions in today's video. Attorney Deaton scored a huge victory for LBC token holders in the whole cryptocurrency sector at yesterday's hearing between Elbry and the SEX in the Warren Bowie with SEX in the Warren B. Rudman United States Courthouse in New Hampshire. Deaton, who represented tech journalist Naomi Brockwell as a Mishi Curia, persuaded the judge that LBC secondary market transactions do not constitute a security. Remember that the SEC tried to sidestep helping LBC by asking for an injunction that applies equally to Albury, the company's management, and the public? Because of the injunction's wide scope, Brockwell and other Elbury users' attorney Deaton is attempting to have it clarified so that they may engage in secondary market transactions using LBC. According to Crypto Law's creator, he relied on an essay by commercial contract attorney Lewis Cohen that provided a comprehensive overview of all security matters heard in the United States after Howitt. According to Deaton, no U.S. court acknowledged the underlying asset was a security at any point in Cohen's review of security cases. In court, Deaton elaborated on his comments to the judge as follows. The article argues that your ruling seems like you may be suggesting that LBC is security in itself. Please explain yourself. Judge, if you don't mean that, after some back. And fourth, Deaton said the judge stated his disinclination to issue an injunction. He elaborated on the significance of the judge's comments, saying that it was a huge victory since it meant that L3 users would not be subject to an injunction. Notably, Deaton stated that he had the sex officially state on the record that secondary market transactions using LBC do not constitute a security. The crypto community applauds the Elbry hearing, which highlights the high stakes at play for every crypto asset Deaton. Deaton's work in the Elbry case, which might be applied in other crypto-related matters, such as Ripple v. Sec, has garnered praise from a number of crypto aficionados. Jeremy Hogan, a partner at the legal firm Hogan Hogan, praised Deaton on Twitter today for getting the SEC to officially acknowledge that LBC as a token is not a security. The first statement from the Lulbry, hearing with the SEC, the SEC has said publicly that tokens themselves do not qualify as securities. Mr. Deaton, you've done a great job. Furthermore, Fox Business journalist Eleanor Terrett praised Deaton noting that no one advocates for the Bitcoin business like Crypto Law's creator. The SEC of attorneys involved in the El Bracone lawsuit have admitted over the record, Otrer, that whole BC tokens sold on the secondary market are not securities. Second, nobody advocates more vigorously for the crypto community than Erjana Dietano. If it weren't for him, the SEC you would have it so easy. Ripple's general counsel Stuart Alderodi has reacted to a recent Bloomberg article titled Fight to Regulate Crypto at Crossroads as Ripple Ruling Looms. The article, published yesterday, explains how an upcoming Ripple v. SEC lawsuit ruling will determine which federal agency between the SEC and CFICU should regulate the industry. Bloomberg, in reference to the lawsuit between the SEC and RIPA, said, an upcoming ruling in New York federal court could help determine the answer, along with the fates of numerous crypto investors and companies. The case hinges on whether a prominent digital token should be treated as a security, which would fall under the Securities Exchange Commission. Jurisdiction The leading media outlet cited comments from former SEC's legal representatives, with the majority saying that the implosion of cryptocurrency exchange facts will determine the outcome of the Ripple lawsuit. Reacting to the article, Alderodi said irrespective of how Bloomberg dissects the lawsuit, the experts all agree that the outcome of the case will affect the future of cryptocurrencies in the United States. No matter how you dissect it, the experts agree. The outcome of the Ripple case will likely have a significant impact on crypto's future in the USE, he said. The ongoing Ripple case has captured much attention from the XRP community and other cryptocurrency investors, thus suggesting the significance of the lawsuit in the US. Crypto industry There is an ongoing debate over who should regulate the cryptocurrency industry. With top industry players like Ripple's CEO Brad Garlinghouse back in the sea of TE to emerge as the appropriate regulator for crypto, the SEC, under the leadership of Gary Gensler, is trying to position itself as the cop on the beat for the emerging market. Carol Goforth, 
a professor at the University of Arkansas School of Law specializing in fintech regulation, said in the Bloomberg piece that should the SEC win the lawsuit, the regulator would claim jurisdiction over most crypto assets. However, a win for a ripple could reduce the SEC's claim over becoming the regulatory watchdog for crypto. It bears mentioning that the SEC has faced criticism from crypto stakeholders over its regulatory approach in the crypto sector. Industry players, including Alderodi, have accused the SEC of preferring enforcement instead of clarifying rules. Aside from crypto enthusiasts, Arthur Jacoby, a former SEC attorney, has slammed the SEC for its regulatory approach in the crypto space. Instead of engaging in transparent and public rulemaking with industry comments, the SEC has chosen to mark its digital asset territory via the federal court system, Jacoby noted. In response to this criticism, Gensler has maintained that existing financial market rules are clear. Meanwhile, a decision in the Ripple v. SEC lawsuit is expected to be given in the first half of the year, as both the SEC and Ripple are asking Judge Annalisa Torres to rule in their favor. The long-running legal brawl between Ripple and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission edges close to an end. In a tweet today, top U.S. defense lawyer James K. Filan informed his over 138 followers that as of January 19, 2023, everything is briefed in the lawsuit. This suggests that the parties, Ripple and the SEC, have made the necessary filings, including motions for summary judgment and motions to seal all materials relating to the summary judgment motion. Violence tweet comes as part of efforts to update the XRP community on the scheduling updates of the lawsuit. An excerpt from the attached image read, Now we wait. Judge Annalisa Torres is currently reviewing the multiple briefs filed by the parties before making a final decision. Reacting to the tweet, excerpt community members took to the comment section to express gratitude to Philan for keeping them updated throughout the lawsuit, which has lasted for over two years. Attorney Jeremy Hogan, a partner at Hogan Hogan Law Firm, was among those who expressed gratitude to Philan for his efforts in keeping the crypto community updated. X-Sharp community attorney John Deaton also reacted to the latest scheduling updates shared by Philan. Deaton referred to Philan's latest Ripple v. Seek lawsuit. Seek lawsuit tweet as the best update ever. In December 2020, the SEC dropped a bomb on the crypto industry by suing Ripple and two of its executives, Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson. The Securities and Exchange Commission claimed that Ripple and its XX sold unregistered securities in the form of XRP. The case, which Forbes dubbed the cryptocurrency trial of the century, is expected to set a precedent for the future of the U.S. crypto market. A win for Ripple could pave the way for regulatory clarity in the United States However, a ruling in favor of the SEC could give the regulator a powerful weapon to go after other cryptocurrency projects. In previous updates, Filan has predicted that Judge Torres would likely make a final decision on the case before the end of March 2023. Meanwhile, Ripple's CEO recently told CanBC that he expects a final resolution of the company's legal brawl with the SEC to happen in the first half of this year. Garlinghouse added that he is confident about the outcome based on Ripple's position with the law. The case is now fully briefed in front of the judge, but we are optimistic that this will certainly be resolved in 2023, maybe the first half. We'll see how it plays out from here. But I feel very good about where we are relative to the law and the facts, he remarked. As reported by the crypto, Basic in Davos Ripple CEO said that people will be stunned at the sex's behavior when Hyman's emails come to light.